the debate on the European Union is often portrayed as something that, where the, Euro, the Conservatives are Eurosceptic and the left in general is um, Euro enthusiast, which is completely untrue. Uh, what we have, I think, in parties across Europe and in Britain, the leaderships take a particular view, but uh, members and particularly supporters of those parties take a completely different view. Um, the, the best example, I think, is in France when they had their referendum. The Socialist Party was so nervous about the uh, likelihood of uh, Socialist Party supporters voting uh, for knowing the referendum. They had a referendum inside the Socialist Party amongst members, which they, they won for the yes vote. But Socialist Party supporters in the country voted massively no, and it was the left which secured that victory for the no vote, if you like. The same was true of the vote in Holland. It was the left and trade unionists who came in and made sure that was a no vote. And if you go back to the Swedish referendum on joining the euro, the same was true there. So um, I think all parties have leaderships which for some reason, which is a mystery to me, um, seem to want to be inside the euro tent. Um, I, can, I can find no rational argument for that at all, but they do. Uh, and when it comes to the people, uh, or even the party, party members, um, you, you'll find a, a different view. Um, and the left has played its part across Europe and I think in Britain. Historically, we were, as, as, as others have said, we were a party which was very skeptical on the European Union. Um, and uh, a majority, I was actually at the conference in 1975 when we voted no. Um, I, in the referendum, I was the, um, the, the, the agent for the no vote in Bedfordshire. Interestingly, there was a Conservative MP for the yes vote on the other side. When I met him years later, reminded him, he was horribly embarrassed that he'd been a yes voter at that time. But there we are. You know, the left has played its part and is still playing its part. And if the vice was taken off, the whip was taken off, or if our party leaders decided to change the position, I'm sure there'd be a, a, a complete swing the other way inside our party. And my feeling is that the great majority of party Labour Party MPs is they're not that bothered, they're pretty agnostic and if the party leadership changed their view they'd go along with that. There would be of course a hard core of Euro enthusiasts as there is a strong principled core of Euro skeptics like the comrades on the platform here. Um, but you know the, 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 the left I think, uh, the thinking left has I think a, a record in this. We I think are playing our part um, particularly in Parliament, sometimes where the, hardly anybody speaks in European debates, but we always make sure we have, you know, a Euro, the, the Euro-critical view, the Euro-realist view, represented by, 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 by Graham and myself and, and, and others in those debates. We hardly get any speakers on the, on the enthusiast side. Keith occasionally speaks, but not, not many others. So I think the left has a role to play. Uh, we are solid in this campaign, and uh, I hope that, uh, you know, that will be recognised I think increasingly by the media. And just the final point, I did notice for the first time Andrew Marr speaking to Ed Miliband at our conference did refer to the, 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 the Labour opposition to the, to the European Union, Labour sceptic view, for the first time I think in years, an acknowledgement that there is a left sceptical view on the European Union.